So uh, tell us more about the uh, books, book series that you read. Um, it's uh, Jude Watson, I think, it did most of the books. And um, it yeah. talks about from when they were... When are you... Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness. Hey, you're just talking about that like Come on, grab some. That is awesome. Hey, uh -oh. mine's red too. It's a Sith too. This chain is tough. Sorry. Yeah. We need to hit it really hard. Uh oh. So we've been talking about younglings and Star Wars and you know how they were kind of raised when they were younger and just being Jedi or Sith, whichever. And, um, the Jedi Apprentice series is like for, I don't know, probably like 8 to 12 year olds, I guess, but um, I read it still because I think it's really good. Um, it talks about, it's like right before episode one and a few years, well, many years before that, I guess, probably like 11, I believe is when it starts, and goes through um, his, his and Qui-Gon's um, friendship, how that starts, and how Qui-Gon came to choose Obi-Wan as a Padawan, even though he didn't want to. Um, and he actually had a Padawan that turned to the dark side. Qui-Gon did, so. Um, but, I don't know, with the Old Republic, it wasn't, or was that Old Republic? Yeah. It was okay. Xanatos. Yes, Xanatos. That was his name. Um, but anyways, it just goes through how he grows up, you know, in the Jedi Academy and um, the missions that he and Qui-Gon go on and the trouble they get into and that Obi-Wan gets into. And, um, I just think it's neat that they show just like a normal Jedi Master Padawan relationship. It's kind of neat. Um, they're really interesting and go through them really quickly. <laughs> um, it's like when they encounter Jar Jar, they get a little in trouble there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do that a lot. It says that's like a running joke kind of throughout the series and the movies that Qui Gon picks up strays and <laughs> kind of takes them along. So, what, what was Obi Wan like at 11? Why didn't Qui Gon? Want him well, he didn't a want a Padawan at all um, because of his last Padawan had turned to the dark side, and so he was dead set on not taking a Padawan. And but the Force had other, you know, plans. I guess the Force has plans. I guess, um, and Obi Wan kept, you know, he would run into him, and actually at one time Obi Wan asked. Qui Gon to be his master, and he's like, no, no, I'm not doing that. So, Obi Wan, at age 13, they either get chosen by a master or they get sent to um, the farm, like some kind of farm. I don't know. I forgot what kind it was. Salt, maybe farm. Yeah, something. something. He was on his way. Yeah, and um, he got there, and then he discovered that there was some kind of um, I forgot exactly what was going on. There, um, but Xanatos, Qui Gon's old Padawan, was there, and so they were trying to. He was doing something sinister, I'm sure. He's mm -hmm. the dark side. That's right. And um, we're always up to something sinister. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Don't can't trust him. Um, so, anyways, Qui Gon, I guess, hears of what's going on on that planet, and so he rushes over, and um, he ends up saving Obi Wan, and but Obi Wan was he had told him about the plot with whatever was going on there and have to read it because I'm not giving a very good synopsis. But, um, yeah, he saves him and then he finally, he's like, okay, fine, you know, I'll, I'll be your master. And so then it goes on from there. He was a lot more careful than Qui-Gon because Qui-Gon tended to be more reckless and outgoing and kind of uh, you can bend the rules a little. It's okay. He had to keep them in line. Um, 